Oh man, let me log into this crazy Keela's life on YouTube, man. See what all the bugs is about. Become a lunatic like all these other people. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. Crazy Keela. Crazy Keela. Trying to be here for a while in a good time When we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine Good people, times, and good wine Good wine, good wine, good wine, good wine, good wine. Good wine. Till I'm on, put that nani in a hole, I'm beating it down I'm back in that bag again, oh, 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 say less I'm back in that bag again, yeah, yeah, oh, say less I'm back in that, yeah, what you doing? Look at mommy, Maya, you nervous? Just a little? Let's go find your teacher So we're in school, and I'm like this higher Get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, look at eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Start my day. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Throw my clothes on, start my day Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows Okay, I know that today will be a good day Okay, I know that today will be a good day A, B, C, one, two, three Drink some water, brush my teeth Get out of bed and I stretch Bed in my hair is a mess. a mess Look through my clothes for a fit Anything I do is drip I feel like a kid when I'm TikTok And I still keep it real as it is I show my age, I don't switch Often I'm just as a dad as a kiss Try taking naps with my kids Talking, I'm guessing this life how it is Hey y'all, good morning I'm about to drive my off to school I'm running a tad bit behind Um Maybe like five minutes and I'm not that don't mean I'm gonna be late. I like to be like cause the line be so long. I like to get there early. She's still gonna be on time. Cause last year I used to leave out at like seven between seven and seven oh five. It's seven fifty seven. And it takes about ten minutes to get there. So I'll get there. As long as we there before 725, but that line be so long, I don't be feeling like waiting in that line. But it, I guess it's to give me a taste to see how, if I leave out a little bit later, how things would be this year. Because, honey, after I do this, I'm going to go ahead and run to Chick-fil-A and get me a chicken, egg, and cheese sandwich. <clears throat> and then I have two meetings to go to today. Um two event spaces to go and look at and um try to you know see what they talking about as far as contract and as far as deposits and stuff like that and um i gotta call this um, hotel for stay for family that's coming in for the family reunion and i'm playing it right so yeah i have a busy day and this is supposed to be my slow relaxing day but it will be once I get back home. And I, it, it, it would have been better if I didn't have to take Fat Man with me. My mother has stuff she has to do. So I'm going to have to bring Fat Man with me. But it is what it is. I am, I think I want hot coffee this morning. I'll bring it iced coffee when I go to um, Ice coffee. Yeah, I'm going to get iced coffee when I've been going to. Um, I can't even remember the name on name. Chick fil A, but I don't want iced coffee today. I want regular coffee. And I'm gonna get, he's gonna want a sandwich when we get home, so I'm gonna get him some little hash browns. So, yeah, I'm dropping her off. And then 
I'll pick up my breakfast and then I get started with my day. So I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Hello? Um, Kit, K I T. Can I get um uh? Can I get a, a chicken, egg, and cheese biscuit meal? Can I get a uh, coffee with some French uh, French vanilla creamer and sugar in it? How many? And we put it on the side. Okay. Um. I just. How many? What? French vanilla creamers. Right, yes. How many? Um. Three. And sugar on the side. Some sugar also. Can I? And I can I get an extra order of um tater top? Not tater tots. The hash brown little round hash browns. Yes. Anything else for you? That's it. So I'll have you down for a chicken egg and cheese, uh, biscuit meal with half cream and a coffee and another order of hash browns. Is that correct? Yes. Alright, yeah, 993 is the window. Thank you. Okay. So I got my Chick-fil-A and my coffee. I'm about to pull over to the side so in my coffee so I can fix my coffee up because I'm gonna drink that while it's hot. Hold on, y'all. Look at this sun, honey. Look at the sun all in my face, honey. I was gonna stop at Duck Donuts and get some donuts, honey, because they got the bacon donuts, honey. Y'all know I like the Duck Donuts, but I'll do that another day. I'm about to fix this coffee up. Why would they fill it all the way up like this, knowing I gotta put my stuff in here? I might have to fix this up at home, honey. Girl, I might need to fix this up at home because they filled it all the way to the rim. Thank you, Chick-fil-A, for filling it up. You can kind of get my money's worth, but honey, I can't put my stuff in there and drink my coffee while I drive. It's, it's filled to the rim. It's 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 to the rim, y'all. I like eating duck donuts because they got that bacon donut. I might go to stop by tomorrow and get some duck donuts. I don't really need to get none of that stuff. I got so many sweets in the house. You go ahead, baby. Okay, thank you. But, um, yeah, so... Oh, let's have a conversation, y'all. I need a conversation with y'all about this Erica Mena crap. Um, Erica Mena, um, now, I'm not going to say that Spice saying she was a bad mother was, because even if she's, if, even if they, you feel she's a bad mother, she might be sensitive about that subject because she knows she hasn't done what she needed to do to be the mother that she needed to be to her son and and i don't know the details on her relationship with her son so i can't say that she's a bad mother all i can say is that imagine how you would feel if you felt like you but i know how i would feel if i felt like i have children and if i felt like i had failed or didn't do well at parenting one of my children because I was young and I wasn't responsible enough or whatever the reason. I didn't do well at parenting that child to the point that um they didn't want to they didn't like me. Um I think I'd be hurt if somebody was to bring that up. I I, I really would be hurt if somebody was to bring that up. But I would not say a racial slur. That'd be the furthest thing from my mind is saying something racial to somebody. Or either, in my case, it would be a colorist slur because I am black. I'm a black woman. But I don't, I, I wouldn't say that. That would be the first thing from my mind. I mean, I understand her flipping the table, even though you shouldn't resort to violence. But I got the flipping the table part because she was upset. Sometimes we do stupid stuff when we upset. But the words you can't take back and they stick with you. And guess what? She's damaging her own career by them words. And I I don't know. I feel like this is like Erica hasn't learned from her past mistakes and saying and doing wrong stuff. Not that she said anything that part, is close to this, is bad, is this. Not that I remember. Maybe she has and I just didn't see it. But I feel like Erica, Jesus, I mean, I feel like Erica went too far. And she hasn't learned from her past mistakes because they didn't let her get away with saying and doing so much stuff in the past that now um, she I, she may have thought she can say this and, and it was going to just glide. 
But you know, black women been under attack by all different races and been called names, and it's just been it's been it's been running rapid. So when she said it, in a time where it's just running rapid, it made it even worse. Not that it wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna be bad before, but this is even worse now because we already dealing with this on level 10 and then you got the nerve to say this and you got two black kids and a black ex-husband that you still in love with like i said i don't mean think i don't think that i don't think that she's racist i think it was a racial racist comment and she shouldn't have said it she shouldn't have said it because um I, when I was watching, from my understanding, when I was watching, girl, the sun is in my eye. Let me give me my shade. When I was when I was watching it last night, what the hell? Why are they standing right? This is some bullshit. I'm gonna have to get in the next lane. This is some bullshit. Why are they just in the middle of the damn road like this? Get the hell out the road. When I go through the light, this car is just sitting there. Move out the damn way. This is some bullshit. I'm sorry. Let me let me get back on track. The way Spice described it is that when she she wasn't even mad when Erica threw the table, <laughs> she that racist comment is the thing that she is more upset about. She's most upset about the racial comment. This person gonna wind up getting getting get, making an accident. I swear, but um, and I think everybody was thinking the same thing. They were like, "Why? What the hell was she thinking when she said this?" I don't know, but she got a show that she's on. She got movies on Tubi. She messing with her bag. People are not going to want to work with her. Not because they don't feel like she's talented, because they don't want to be having to deal with people not... I know you see me trying to come on. You, you see me trying to come over? What are you doing? Jesus, what are you doing? Why y'all got your car in the middle of the damn road? These people are dumb as hell. Anyway... But not because <laughs> they don't want to, um, not because they don't want to have a talent. I mean, because I feel like her acting is getting better. When she first started doing movies, it, it clearly looked like she was just learning how to act. But she's starting to do a little bit better. And as time progressed, she might have been excellent at being an actress. You know what I'm saying? She might have been like... But we may never know now because ain't nobody going to want to book her because of this racial slur she done said. I mean, I had to put that, that glasses on at that time because that tone was in my eye. But because of the racial slur she said. So now she's going to be dealing with losing money. She's got fired from Love & Hip Hop. She's going to be losing the bag and losing money on people not wanting to book her for stuff. And she, this is going to be a domino effect, but this is a long time coming because Erica could been jumping out the box for a long time and getting away with it. This time, she jumped too far out the damn box. She jumped off the damn cliff. She jumped off the damn cliff on this one. And a black people, not just women, black people everywhere are upset. And their voices are being heard right now. I feel sorry for the kids. I I hate that she's losing the bag because now her kids are going to miss out. But now she's going to have to be like regular people and get a regular job, honey, to pay the bills. Because, and I, I mean, but she did it to herself. I don't feel, far, feel sorry for her because she did it to herself. I feel sorry for the kids because later on, guess what? They're going to they gonna see this. The kids going to see this. These black babies going to see their mama calling another black person, person a monkey. And you know, I was telling my sister, they depicted us as monkeys and that, that, that's, the, that's the worst thing you can call a black person is a damn monkey to me. And, and the N-word. Like, <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's like that. I, mm. I don't know. That that's and that's on another level. We gonna pray for Erica that, and she apologized. Not really apologized. She said she felt bad. What she said, I really don't think she feel bad for what she said. I think she meant what she said. Um, cause she still really don't believe it's a racial slur. Somebody else probably told her that was a racial slur. You shouldn't have said that. But 
and she realized that she's gonna interfere in her bag so she gotta make sure she, she gotta make it seem like she feel bad about what she said but i don't think she feel bad what she said because in Erica's mind, she's thinking, I got black kids and a black ex-husband. Ain't nobody going to think I'm racist for saying monkey to a black person. But you're not black, baby. You're not black. So, yeah. Yeah. Black people get mad when other black people call each other monkey. Like, if you go in an argument, if I'm in an argument and I never do it, call another black person a monkey, they're going to get mad. They're going to want to fight me. And, and I will definitely be a colorist. I'm trying to tell you. They want to fight me and I'm and I, I'm black. Black people don't want to be called monkey by other black people. So what makes you think that black people want to be called monkey by somebody in a, a, of another race? No, we don't. But let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and go home. I, 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 I rambled enough. I, I'm about to go home and eat my food. And I'll holler at y'all later. Hey, y'all. Hey, we on our way now to the first event center we gotta go visit um we already ate our breakfast and i did some editing and some writing so i'm about to go run to um i've got to bring me some gloss i think the gloss is in the other bag but yeah i gotta go meet with these two event centers one is at 11 30 the other 12 30 I feel like I'm doing a good time because I left out. It's not far. It's like 10 minutes away, the first one. The other one is further out, but since I'm already going to be out, it's not going to be that far. But I have to go to this first event center. I'll let y'all see how everything look. And um, the, what they kind of, I know I forgot my tripod. Um, I forgot my tripod, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all see as much as I can. I meant to bring my tripod so y'all can, I can set it up while I'm there, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so I see y'all when we get to the first event center. We're at the first place. This is Decon. This is the room, the biggest room. We probably won't need a room this big. Come on, let me get here. I know that man, and they have back there in. Back there in that room, it says the Charleston's. If you can see, hold on. I don't even know if you can see. I'm trying to explain it and I can't. Well, anyway, in that room, it's the Charleston, but that's where they, they, they have the food at. The room that I think that we're gonna choose is, um, this one right here is $1,800 right here. Um, and that's just for the space for that time and date that we want it for. And then they have this Lafayette. I'm gonna let y'all see that one. Come on, fat man. And the Lafayette comes with this full bar. And, um, hold on, let y'all see this. They got them things flaring. This is the Lafayette. This said 80 people. That's the size of our group. But I think I want something a little bigger than this. So I'm going for the other room that, and I was thinking that if we still get it in a budget, we can have the, we can have the brunch here too, instead of, you know. So she said they can do all of that. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at this one right here. Okay. Okay, this is the other room. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. This is where the food would be. Get back and you can see the overlay of the other space. And here's the bar. Here is the space and here is the dance floor we won't have that table on the dance floor because we want to utilize that dance floor but yeah this is the space i think we're going to wind up using but i have to call my cousin to see what she thinks so so that's what we got so far i'm gonna turn these lights off because i told her i would the lady i would turn the lights off i really like the big space but we we not gonna have enough people for that big space, and uh, we're not trying to pay extra money just to have a prettier, bigger space when we're not gonna have like that space is huge. We're not gonna be able to fill that up. It's 80 people. We have 80 people. It's set up now for 100 people. Um, but I think this is a, a big much for 80 people. Hold on. Let me go ahead and turn the lights off in here. They got that fan blaring, honey. So. Yeah, so 
I'm gonna let y'all see that space downstairs again just to see how huge it is. Hold on. Look, that is huge. Come on, fat man. See, it's huge. Right now, it's seated for 100 people, but honey. Okay, because it says stuffed chicken, chicken alfredo, beef tip, onions, peppers and gravy, roasted chicken, fried chicken, shrimp and grits. Oh, yeah. Anything that's on the menu, it's good. Okay. Everything that she fixes. I haven't had I'm, anything that she's not been good. Okay. So, oh, you get three sides and you get two of the options of the, and then you get two of the options of, okay. Okay. It's video chat with her, but she, right. she run a daycare center. She, she might be having a crisis uh -huh. right now. Everything <laughs> be going on in there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's about it yeah the um the pricing seems okay um i don't like the fact that all the spaces are open to the other spaces it's like if they're having another event are we gonna hear the noise from their events you know so that's that's an idea i will share this stuff with my cousin because she is the one that's going to be helping me plan this stuff I'm going to show her. I really want to go to George K's. I know their food is delicious. Scrumptious, scrumptious, whatever you want to call it. Okay. But I want to, um, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. And I'm gonna do the numbers when I get back to, to tell her exactly because they gave me a lot of different numbers. I don't like the how it's chopped up and I didn't get a contract and this is what it would be all together. It's like this is what this called and this is what this, they, it's like the, I don't know. It's the organization for me. I like Queenie does things very organized, very organized. So uh, it's the organization for me. And with Queenie, her decorations come with the room. I do remember that. Unless they changed it, her decorating the room comes with getting the room. So I'm gonna see how much this room is that we're gonna be renting from Queenie. And then I know the catering, catering is cheaper at this place. It's about $12 per person, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. But um, Queenie's is more, but you have more options too. It's all about the options, baby. And it's classy. I'm gonna let y'all see, y'all see what I'm saying. Y'all see when I get there. Y'all see what I'm talking about when I get there, okay? When I get there, y'all will see what I'm talking about because, honey, it, it's the vibe for me. It's the vibe for me. So, let me go ahead and get to this next place because I got 30 minutes to get there. I, I'm going to get there in less than 30 minutes. We'll just let y'all know that right now. But, um, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. I'll have y'all in a minute. We remember we were doing July the 13th. Mm -hmm. um, next year. Yeah, next year. Mm -hmm. July the 13th. Um, I'm not sure which room we're gonna do. That's why we gonna you gonna help me decide. Right. Okay. What do how, what's the um? What do this? Eighty. Eighty. You can do two. You can either horse oh, because this is a Scotland night. Yeah, this is a sky one. Come on, fat man. You, you, your wedding is here. Right? Yes, I yeah. had. Yeah. Uh, what? How many years? Ago? I had. It, oh, it was. It was 11 years ago. I had my wedding in this room yeah. and my reception in this room. Well, the wedding was in this part. And this part out yeah, to I'm here was my reception. Going yeah, it's going so fast. Yeah. <laughs> so when you were there, I was new in here. I was about four years. Now mm -hmm. it's 15 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, if they close this part yeah, off. You can either get this side or this side. Okay. So it depends on how much you want to spend. So. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's either the sky room or this room I think I like this room better for the and I gotta figure out how much the I like the fact that hers closes off from the other room but I love the chandeliers and stuff in here this is where I had my um, reception at so it's really pretty in here so yeah 
So, oh my God. <laughs> and this is the sky room, sky one, right? Sky one, take the entrance. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let y'all see the entrance. Right here, we got the entrance. Okay. When you first walk in, these are the doors. This is the entrance. You can put your, your own balloons and stuff, get your own balloon thing put up here. And this is the entrance. Um, the other side doesn't have its own entrance like this. This one has the entrance. And this is the... And this is the dance floor. And this is the sky room. Now, you see where those pillars at with the glass? It's going to be something... Because that's sky too. That's the other room. There's going to... They got like walls to pull over to separate because so we will get this part if we do the sky one sky two is this and this is where i had my reception i had my reception over there and i but i had it all the way over to here this is where the room separated from my reception wait a minute right here you see it's like a wall that goes up here but what we're going to do for the, um, if we decide to choose this, what we're going to do for the, um, we're going to have this part separate right here. And this part will be for, excuse me, fat man. Look at fat man. And this part will be for the banquet. So, and it has a dance floor, small dance floor right here. And this side, yeah. So this is a good space. Now I got to get the okay from my cousin. But it's nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. I like the fact that it's, and you see it has a skylight here too. Right here, skylight. So it's very nice, very nice. Hey y'all, I'm on my way to go get Amaya. I was crunching some numbers. Trying to see what we had left to spend after this banquet. Um, this banquet dinner thing. Um, and uh, we still got to get the t-shirts. So, something going to have to give, honey. Something's gonna have to give because we still gotta get the t shirts and we still gotta rent the space out for the shelter. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I gotta figure it out because we gotta get it's hot as hell in here. We gotta get this stuff together because we got a lot of stuff that we plan on doing and a lot of food we plan on cooking. And that's not including the charcoal, all the. It's a lot of. It's a lot going to make an event do with the family reunion. And everybody gotta chip in. Everybody. Everybody. So, yeah. And my stomach is cramping, y'all, because as y'all know, I've been on my period again, but it's weird. It's like, I don't know what the hell is going on with my body. I really don't. It's just me not knowing what's going on with my body. I'm tired. But on my way to go get Amaya, and then I'm going to sit down and I'm hopefully try to relax and um, Good. And, um, start writing some more because I've been so busy with this thing. I wasn't having both written much today or edited much today. But I, I gotta get on top of it. This is like today has been really hectic. Really, really hectic. <laughs> well, let me know like y'all in a minute. Alright. Hey y'all I'm about to watch some TV. Today was a long day. I didn't have a bath and a shower. And I'm kind of just chilling. I'm trying to find some way to put, pop this 
I'm trying to just chill about to eat some pizza. Yes, I use a knife and a fork to eat my pizza. I like to cut my pizza. Unless I got New York style pizza. I got thick pizza. Oh, you see that? This, this is disrespectful. There we go. When I got thick pizza like this piece I'm eating now, this thick crust, I cut it. But this is your nose. I was made it tonight because this is night. And he gonna be he gonna do the easiest thing he can do. I promise you that. Every time. But so today, super busy. Supposed to be my day off, but all day I was working on the family reunion. Hey pumpkin. Amaya got in trouble in school today, didn't you, Amaya? Come here. So everybody, what the people say, what the teacher say? She was talking in class a lot. She won't shut her mouth, they said. And you was not listening and following directions, right? So she's what? What are you? Yeah. No, what do you, what, what, you grounded, right? She said, "Mom, am I grounded?" Yes, you are, ma'am. She know what grounded is, don't you, babe? Why do we get grounded after school? When you don't listen, you get grounded. You don't just get grounded every day, do you? Yeah. Only when you don't listen, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's how I'm listening. So. I'm about to watch some movies. No. Go to your room. So, I'm about to watch some movies. On Netflix. And relax. I'm on the fence. About brunch on Sunday. I talked to Mimi's cafe and they said it'd be super busy. They're not going to be able to sit 80 people. Only other place... Y'all probably will be able to section apart off for us and sit us is Golden Corral. And y'all know, I hate buffets. Nothing against Golden Corral. I just hate all buffets. If it's not like a private event where it's just the people that I know there eating from the buffet. Now, I can, I can deal with that type of buffet. People I know eating at a buffet. Yeah, I can deal with that. But buffets with strangers, I it makes my skin crawl. It really does. Like, literally makes my skin crawl. So, um, I need to pray on that. Because I want to be able to do brunch for everybody before they leave. But, I'm going to pray on that. I do got to make some calls in the morning after I come from the gym. She has to get some things going. I might stop over to the... Um, <clears throat> Just so I can look at the spot again. <clears throat> In a place, I'm choking. Mom, this is was good. Yeah, baby. On the floor tonight? I don't know why my kids been liking to sleep on the floor lately. Where are those? No, go sleep in your bed. Mom, Stop that crying. Room. Don't bring them to the beds in your room. These kids think they're doing this my day off. Dogs, hoodaloo. Mm -hmm, no. I mean, some better people can ask me after this and what? Yes. Um, but like I said, today was busy. So, it was busy and boring all at the same time. Well, not really boring. It might be boring for y'all to watch, but it was busy and busy for me. So like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, bell boom. Come on, little tick. Cause we don't want to be us. We crazy. Sexy. Oh. Paris. <laughs>